Now it's 2023 and it is time to start your own online business and reach the coveted $10,000 per month mark. And that's why in this video, I'm going to go through the seven best ways to make $10,000 a month in 2023. Now you have to understand that you not only need to pick the right business model in order to succeed, but you also need to choose the right strategy that goes with it. Otherwise, all of your efforts will go to waste and you will fail. The first way that you can reach the $10,000 a month mark is to become an affiliate model. Marketer. Now, the way that most people do affiliate marketing, and I've witnessed this myself, is to set up a blog, to write a whole bunch of articles on a specific niche, and to link products that are in relation to what they're writing about. Which means that each time that someone reads their article and decides to buy the product in question by using their affiliate link, they will receive a commission. This strategy used to work rather well in the past, especially when blogs were very popular. Now, writing dozens of articles each and every single month and patiently waiting for the Google SEO algorithm to rank your articles is a long and tedious process. A better way to start your own affiliate marketing business in 2023 would be to use organic marketing strategies to grow on social media, meaning you could post some content on TikTok, on Instagram, to attract the people that could most benefit from the product that you are promoting. And the best part about it, you do not have to spend a single penny on any form of paid advertising in order to attract your ideal customers. Now, if you decide that you want to become an affiliate marketer, then what I suggest that you do is that instead of promoting physical products such as smartphones, lamps, and other such things, you instead promote info products or softwares. Physical products usually pay a lot less per commission than info products do. The reason for that is that physical products require design, manufacturing, shipping, while info products don't, therefore having higher margins. The next way I'm going to suggest is dropshipping. I have to warn you though, now if you use the same strategy that every guru used to preach a few years ago online, you are highly susceptible to mess it up and to fail. Now back then the way that everyone used to start a dropshipping business was to find a winning product which would basically be a cool and trendy product. The product would be sourced from websites such as AliExpress, Wish or Alibaba and you would basically build a Shopify website, list the winning product on the website and turn on Facebook ads in order Order to get some leads coming in onto your product page. So how should you go about starting a dropshipping business in 2023 then? Don't go for the winning product strategy. Instead, you want to be focusing on building a long-term brand. The reason why you don't want to use the winning product strategy is because when the trendy product that you are selling is all of a sudden not a trend anymore, your sales will plummet down and you will inevitably have to close your store. If you sell Christmas-related objects on your Shopify store, then you may notice that sales get very high high towards the end of the year, but also that during the rest of the year, the sales drastically go down because people are simply not in the mood to make Christmas related purchases. What you want to do instead is to build a long term brand by picking a product that is evergreen, meaning your product will stand the test of time and still be in demand in a year or two from the moment you decide to open your Shopify store. A huge mistake I see many beginner dropshippers make is to go directly to paid ads and to burn all of their money on Facebook ads. In 2023, the best way to go about getting traffic for your online store initially is to get your product validated by using organic marketing strategies. When I used to run a dropshipping store back when I was in high school, I didn't have any money to invest into paid ads. So what I did was I reached out manually to people that I thought could be interested in my product and asked them if they wanted to become ambassadors for my brand. And to my surprise, it actually worked very well because people love to feel like they're part of a community like they belong in a community with a common mission and common goal. And so the way that this worked is that the ambassadors were basically affiliates promoting my brand for free on their social media accounts. And each time one of their followers would buy from my Shopify store using the influencer's code, then the influencer would be given a commission. Now, another way to make $10,000 a month in 2023 is to become a high ticket closer. A lot of companies out there are in dire need of sales reps to close high ticket deals for them. Some companies such as marketing agencies, consulting agencies sell high ticket products and services. So usually a product or a service starts to be considered a high ticket around a $2,000 price tag. But sometimes the price of the product in question can even climb as high as $10,000. So hypothetical scenario, if you were to become a sales rep and close 
close a $2,000 sale, you could receive a 10% commission, which would be $200. There's plenty of sales reps all over the world making at least $10,000 a month. And the amazing part about it being a high ticket closer or a sales reps is that you can work remote. If you know how to sell, you will never go hungry. Meaning you could be working anywhere you want in the world, as long as you have a steady internet connection and a laptop. The amount of freedom that is possible to reach in 2023 is absolutely insane. Now I get it. Not everyone is confident enough to take on the role of being a high ticket closer. And that's okay, because not every business is meant for everyone. Depending on your goals, on your skills, on your interests, certain businesses will not be for you, while other businesses will perfectly match your goals, your needs, and your wants. Starting your own YouTube channel may very well be the right business model for you. Currently, there are 2.56 billion users on YouTube, and you can literally find a video on any channel about any topic. Some people literally make more than a doctor's salary by making ISMR videos, so this literally shows you the power of YouTube. YouTube is not dying anytime soon, and in fact, it's only getting started. So you may as well give it a shot and ride the wave before it is too late. Just pick something that you have an interest in and start to create some content around it. You do not need fancy equipment and cameras to make it big on YouTube. What you need is good, engaging, and relevant content that keeps your audience hooked and coming back for more. If you can successfully do this, then the YouTube algorithm will be rewarding you accordingly, as its primary goal is to keep users on the platform consuming content for as long as possible, because that's how they make money with paid advertising. Now again, becoming a YouTuber is not for everyone. Some people are very shy and anxious and are terrified at the idea of getting on camera and having to become a public figure. So if this sounds like you, you could instead become a video editor and edit videos for other online creators. As more and more people are trying to join YouTube and become content creators to live their dreams and to generate a sustainable income with their passion, the need for competent video editors is going to keep rising year after year. Another way that you can reach the $10,000 a month mark is to sell your own online course. I guarantee that somewhere in the world, there is a group of people that need your help to fix a problem that they have. We all have interests and chances are there is one specific subject that you know about because for whatever reason you did a lot of research about it, maybe because you had to or maybe because you were passionate about it. Now let me state this very important thing. You do not need to be an expert in order to sell an online course. Let's say that you started to practice playing the piano a few years ago. You didn't have the ambition to become the next Beethoven. You simply bought a piano and started to practice it because you wanted to play some of your favorite pop songs. Most people that would like to learn to play the piano, they don't have the goal of becoming a professional pianist or of writing the next greatest melody of the century. Most people just want to be able to play a couple songs for their family and friends. They might even be particularly attached to one specific song only and only want to play that song. Ask yourself, what subject do I have a keen interest in? What subject do I know a lot about? The last way I'm going to suggest so that you can reach $10,000 a month in 2023 is to start your own social media marketing agency. It is a great business model for beginners because it allows you to gain a lot of knowledge and experience in business. It doesn't require a lot of capital to begin with. It will allow you the freedom to work anywhere in the world as long as you have a stable internet connection and a laptop. And since marketing agencies typically price their service on the higher side, one client could bring in $2,000 a month in recurring revenue for your agency. So with only five clients, you could be making $10,000 per month in revenue. And of course, you are not limited to making only $10,000 a month with this business. There is no ceiling. You could take your agency to 20K a month to 50K a month. You could reach out to any sort of business anywhere in the world because the goal of your marketing agency is to bring in more clients, more revenue and more profits for other businesses. And money is a business's oxygen. Without money, a business will not thrive. Every business wants to get more leads, more clients to drive more revenue and profit. One thing that you can do is to target e-commerce brands, for instance, and offer short form content as a form of marketing in order to get them more leads and more clients. Marketing agencies are versatile and can offer a wide variety of services. You do not have to limit yourself to Facebook ads or Google ads or SEO rankings. You can also hire contractors to do the work for you. Basically, your job would be to find the type of business you're going to help to close them and then to find a qualified contractor to outsource the 
the delivery process. Now that I went over the seven different businesses that you could start in 2023, you have many options to choose from. But what you need to know is that the most important thing for you to do right now is to pick one and to stick with it. You cannot expect to start a business and to give it up in a few weeks or in a few months. The most important thing is to pick one and just get started. Don't overthink it. Worst case scenario, you can always start another business later on. So pick one business, stick to it for the next six to 12 months, and then see what happens. See how much your life can change. Let me know in the comments down below which business you're thinking about starting. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.